what's up guys welcome back to our channel if you are new to our channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family my name is Josh and this is Diana and welcome back to our channel guys for this video we're going to be doing what's in our hospital bag for mommy and daddy yep. so right now I am 38 weeks and five days so she can be here literally in any minute now and it's becoming so real like I, I feel like I've been pregnant for so long but it's been a while yeah. feels like it's been a long time but I'm so excited and ready to meet her and I can't wait but I'm also nervous at the same time so I'm excited I'm really excited I feel like it hasn't hit me yet until she really gets here right I wonder what she's gonna look like like a mixture of you and me she's gonna be so beautiful I know. If you guys didn't know, um, I'm half Native American and I'm half Filipino. And I'm Native American and Caucasian. So, so she's going to be a mixed baby. So we're going to go ahead and start showing you guys what we're bringing with us to the hospital. Uh, let me go ahead and open mine. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some clothes and show you guys what I'm going to bring with me. Right. So, I am bringing with me a couple pairs of shorts just so I can be comfortable. And if you guys know me, I like sleeping in my basketball shorts. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I want to be comfortable when we go to the hospital. Right. Um, and I'm bringing two pairs of leggings, stretchy leggings. Mm -hmm. Um yeah because i don't want anything tight on i think i just want to feel comfortable yeah and especially from what people said you want to be comfortable yeah after you have the baby for sure so yeah i'm gonna bring two pairs of leggings i'm bringing a t-shirt to sleep in and i'm also gonna bring two loose shirts i have one of my pink shirts and this will probably be what I wear home, just like a, a loose pink shirt. Um, and I do have another loose shirt that, I, you know, if I don't wear it, I don't wear it. But yeah, just, just I'm just going to bring it just in case. Yeah, just to be sure. Right. And I also brought my nightgown just so I can feel at home. Or, you know, the hospital does provide you a nightgown, but I still want to bring mine just in case. Um, I want to feel at home or I like the way this one feels it's soft and it's long sleeve so I might be cold um, so I just want to bring this one nice you're trying to get all comfortable in the hospital <laughs> alright guys so this I can honestly say this is probably one of the essentials you definitely want to bring with you if you were going to the hospital whenever your lady goes in labor and that is pretty much a hoodie you definitely want to bring a hoodie because if you guys know the hospital is always cold and I'm not trying to be in there for like a day or two and like cold so yeah it is cold in the hospitals I've learned that from experience especially if I gotta sleep there I want to be all comfortable <laughs> so yeah that's that's one thing I can honestly say that you guys want to bring with you is a sweater a hoodie whatever it might be something to keep you warm right and I'm also gonna bring some granny panties I'm, I'm pretty sure the hospital will provide me some panties, but I just want to bring these just in granny case. Um, yes, these are granny panties. These are like really comfortable and like cotton. Something comfortable. Yeah, so I just want to bring these. And I also... Can't have a baby wearing thongs. <laughs> not to the hospital, not to have a baby. No. Um, I also have three bras. I have one that buttons up in the front. Um, yeah, so I'm going to bring this one. It buttons up in the front. And I'm going to bring two sports bras. I don't think I'm going to breastfeed. I might try it out, but maybe not, depending on how I feel or how it works out for me. But I'm not sure yet. This is my first go around, so I might breastfeed. I might not. just depends. Um, I couldn't imagine breastfeeding. <laughs> God damn. I don't like nobody on my nipples. 
I also brought some socks. I brought two pairs of socks. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear a pair home from the hospital. And I'm pretty sure the hospital will provide me some socks. Um, so I'm just going to bring these socks. These are probably my favorite socks. They're so comfortable and fuzzy. And they also... I also have a robe that matches these socks. So this is like very co cozy and cuddly and it makes me feel at home so I'm gonna bring my robe and I'm gonna bring my socks that match with it. I'm trying to be all cute in the <laughs> hospital. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so we got socks. I probably, how many pairs did you say you were in? Three. Three, I brought three too. Another thing I'm bringing with me is a towel. Yeah, I have my towels. Me and Diana. Towel, towel. and washcloth. Yep. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if they provide us towels or washcloths, but I would, I would think they do, but yeah. I don't know. I always bring a washcloth and a towel anytime I go to spend the night anywhere. It doesn't matter. I always bring it. So I'm going to bring mine just in case. <laughs> Another thing I'm bringing with me is a beanie. So if I go to sleep, I can feel comfortable, feel at home. I'm not trying to be all cold. And I'm also going to bring some pads. Um, I think the hospital will provide me pads. I'm pretty sure they will, right? I'm pretty sure. sure. But I'm going to bring some pads just in case. Or maybe if I want to wear some, well, I'm pretty sure I will need to wear some home. So I'm just going to bring my pads just in case. I may need them. Bring us some t-shirts for when the day we leave the hospital. What do you mean when you leave the hospital? Oh, to wear home? Yeah. To work home. I'm going to bring that shirt with me whenever we go home, leaving the hospital. Bring some jeans with me. Because you know I like my jeans. So, bring in some boxers, of course. I got to bring these with me. Pop tarts. <laughs> I got to bring some pop tarts. He loves pop tarts. <laughs> honestly, though, it's been a while since I've ate some. Really? Yeah. But I'm going to bring these with me because. I don't know. I might wake up in the morning. We're not at home, so I can't cook or like just. Right. You know? So I want to at least have something to snack on while we're in the hospital. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you rushing those out? Soon? Our bags. Yeah. Our bags are so cute. Yeah. We got, ba we got, got matching, matching bags. bags. They're so cute. <laughs> I, I like yours, though. It's cute. I know. <laughs> This is pretty much where I would put all my like toiletries, like our soap and different stuff like that, like toothbrushes, toothpaste. Bring in my body wash. I, I don't know if the Thanks hospital for... gives you like soap or body wash to use. I'm not sure. Yeah. Also for the men out there. Wash. Oh, you got Dove too? Yeah. Yeah. Also for the men out there. I would highly recommend this product right here. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a clean, good smell to it. Yeah, it, it, it does smell I love really, really good. Stuff. It really does. I like it. I it's like a fresh scent. I can't, me personally, I can't use soap, like a bar of soap, because my, I don't know why my skin is like so sensitive to soap. Yeah. My, I don't is. know, my skin dries out from using soap, but I've realized after using this stuff right here for a while, um, I don't have problems with that. It's like moisture. Yeah, it leaves your skin feeling moisturized, moisturized. not dry or anything. Yeah, and fresh. So, yeah, I would highly recommend this. And this is some deep moisture dove too. Um, it's really, really good. I love it. It smells so good. And when I get out the shower, you just smell it. So, I'm bringing this. <laughs> yeah, we got a little body wash this with us. Um... I got my little brush. You know, got my little brush too. We're gonna need a brush, I'm pretty sure. And I also have some hair ties and some bob pins just in case. I'm always prepared. I always like to make sure I'm prepared. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need some hair ties, so I'm gonna braid these. Yeah, because when you're in the hospital, you can't do your hair or anything. No. So. This is one thing you gotta have with you, regardless no, where you go. Deodorants. So, I don't really use this one. 
I usually use degree, but yeah, degree is like the only thing I can use. Yeah. Like that's usually what I use, but this was just something extra I had, so I was like, fuck it, I'll throw it in the bag. Yeah. Got my little face wash, little Dove face wash. So when I wake up in the I have morning. My face wash too. <laughs> We're bringing hand sanitizer. He has one and I have one. Um, and do you want to tell them why we're going to bring hand sanitizer? Yeah, I'll tell them. So guys, the main reason we're bringing hand sanitizer, um, you know when your lady has a baby, you might have family members come visit, friends, other people, pretty much whoever visits us in the hospital. Um, you guys know how the hospital has a lot of germs. Whoever comes and visits us at the hospital can use hand sanitizer yeah. and not spread any germs to the baby. And yeah. yeah. So we're just going to sit it to the side and hopefully, well, maybe they'll see it and know that we want them to use it. So, yeah. Just to be on the safe side, it's going right. to use hand sanitizer. The baby's immune system is still weak whenever they're born, so it's really easy for them to get sick. And that's pretty much the main reason why we want to use hand, hand sanitizer. sanitizer, just to be on the safe side. Another thing I would recommend to you guys is this type of toothbrush. It's not just any ordinary toothbrush you usually use. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it right here. This is pretty much the type of toothbrush you can bring with you whenever you travel or go somewhere. It actually folds in, so I feel like that's really convenient for me whenever I travel somewhere. Right, and I have the same toothbrush. Um, I put it in my bag already, so I'm good on that. I have mine packed already. One thing you don't want to forget is your wallet. Um, you are going to need like your ID and maybe like um, your insurance card if you use insurance. Um, just different things, maybe like a little cash if you want to get something out of vending machines. So you don't want to forget your wallet. And this is one thing we do not want to forget is our laptop. So this is pretty much the backpack I use whenever we go somewhere, I always bring the laptop in here, the laptop charger, um, we're bringing the camera with us. Just anything that we might need for our vlogging needs. Um. Yeah. So when Diana does go in labor, we are going to be recording for that when the baby does come. So I want you guys to stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that because we will have a video um, and I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> how it's gonna feel or how it's gonna be but hopefully we get some good footage for you guys and you enjoy it um it's all new for us so yeah it is um so you guys stay tuned we got some good content coming up for you guys whenever diana goes in labor we want to have content to share with you guys you guys are going to be able to see diana going in labor and my labor and delivery Hopefully, I'm not too crazy because I know some women say um, you, you don't even want to like, get recorded at that time. You don't even care but, about nothing. You just want a baby out of you. Yeah, so hopefully so. everything goes good and he's able to get some good footage of, of me while I'm in labor and delivery. And That's if I don't pass out. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> One last thing you guys want to bring with you is iPhone chargers or phone chargers. Yes, we don't want to forget that. Uh, Cause, and another thing I would probably uh, recommend are like portable chargers. Yeah, cause um maybe I'm not sure how most hospitals are, but maybe some hospitals they don't have like enough plugs or something. So you do want to bring portable chargers just yeah. in case. Um, you want to be prepared, so bring it just in case. You never know. Yeah. Especially if you're going to be in the hospital for like two, three days, just depending on how long you're going to be there, I would recommend portable chargers because they will come in handy. They will, yes. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed us showing you what we are packing with us to the hospital. This video was based off of some lists that I seen on Pinterest and also I asked a couple people that has been through it before and they told me some recommendations that I should bring for the hospital bag so comment down below something that you would pack in your hospital bag even if we have it if we didn't have it in our hospital bags comment yeah, down below comment down below we, we would love to see what you guys 
want to bring because maybe that can give us some ideas. If you guys enjoyed this video of us packing our hospital bags and showing you what we're going to bring with us, make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, guys, make sure you subscribe down below and hit that bell button so you guys don't miss anything. And wherever you're watching, thank you for watching. We will we'll see, see you guys, guys next time. time. Peace.